In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, another financial function in Excel. Uh, we're going to take a look at the payment function. Payment function can be used in two different ways. Uh, one is to compute the payment on a loan. The other one is to compute um, the payment in a savings account. If you have a financial goal that you're trying to reach, uh, the payment function can tell you how much money you will have to save every month or every quarter or every year. Um, to reach your goal. But the example we're going to do here is we're going to compute the um, payment on a loan. Okay, So uh, here's the problem down here. We want to find the payment on a $150,000 30-year loan. Well, um, if you borrow $150,000, that's how much money you have right now. And that is your present value. So we're going to put $150,000 in here. And I'm using the same template for all of these financial functions. So um, payment is the function, uh, the unknown this time. So we don't have that. So I've X'd that out. And we're going to put the computation over here. Um, the number of periods per year, uh, we're doing monthly payments. Uh, it's a 30-year loan, so it's 30 years. And the annual interest rate is 6.00%. Okay. And the ending balance on a loan is usually, but not always, uh, zero. And my two formulas down here, this number uh, takes B4, the periods per year, multiplies it by the years, and gets the number of periods, which is the important thing here. Um, and this one down here, if I double click, it takes the 6% and divides it by 12 to find out what my rate per period is, which is, again, is the important thing in these computations. And uh, we are doing it um, at the end of the month. And the end of the month is 0. So let's put a 0 in here. Okay. And now what we want to do is in this cell over here, we want to find out what the payment is. We need to go to our Formulas tab, go to the Function Library, and in the Financial Group, uh, scroll down to the letter P. And there is a PMT function. Be careful because there's another one here that looks similar. It's got an extra P on the front. But this is the one that we want. If you pause the mouse for a second, it'll give you a little description so you can make sure you're getting the right one. And it comes up with our usual function arguments dialog box. And the rate is the rate per period. Always remember that. And uh, rate per period is down here. Uh, the number of periods is here. I've labeled them in the template. The present value is how much money you are borrowing. Uh, the future value is uh, our right here, 0. And the type is going to be 0 down here. And click on OK. And it tells us that uh, our monthly payments to pay that off are going to be $899.33. Uh, notice that it's in red and it also has parentheses around it. Uh, Excel uses either one of those, or sometimes both in this case, uh, to indicate that a number is negative. So anytime you see a number with parentheses around it, or the number in red, uh, it probably means it's a negative number. Uh, it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference here. Um, but if you don't like to see a negative number, you can just go up to your formula here and put a minus sign in front of it. And then that'll turn the sign around, and it'll display the number as a positive value. And again, if you use cell references here instead of putting numbers in. Now if I want to change it, mm, let's say I want to see what happens if I borrow 175, whoops, 175,000 instead. And uh, if I can get a lower interest rate of 5%, um, you know, what does that do to my payments? So we've pretty much solved every loan payment problem that there is. All you have to do is go up here and change the numbers and you will find out what your loan payment is over here.